So it is how you must always have your mind thinking forwardly. That's why the scripture saying was saying, read it again, Captain. Where there is no vision. If you don't have the vision to think beyond where you are, the people perish. You will perish. You understand? So we must continue. But now I want to go back to something you said originally, and that's about forgiveness. Because you, you got that battle. You got that internal battle. I want to do good, but sometimes people just piss me off, you know. And, but we got to understand something. Christ, the black Messiah, let me, let me make that clear. All right. You got this? All right. This is the image we've been taught in the churches. You, would you agree? This is the image that most of us have grown up with. I know, I know Northern Kingdom grew up with that. Now, we grew up with that too, right? But in the Bible, this is the true depiction. That's right. Okay? But because we went to church and we've been taught the doctrines and we saw this image, we look at each other with less respect. Right. Just like when you go rob somebody, you're going to stay right there in your hood. And you're going to rob that man. You ain't going to the man that robs you of everything, including who you are. I'm going to take it to them. <laughs> well, you know the, the majority of our people. And I'm not, I'm not condoning yeah, yeah, yeah. robbery. But that ain't right. Right. That ain't right. But I, I didn't, yeah. this man stole our very understanding of who we are. Yeah. But in, put, in doing that and putting us in, our, in the situation, the condition we're in, when we need something, lack something, we'll go right to a man that look like us and steal from him. Right. You understand? Because we don't see each other as gods. We don't see, see Christ in each other. Yeah. Alright, so we got to get an understanding. Christ, according to the Bible, is a black man. That's you right. understand? Get that in Revelation 114, and we'll show you that. But uh, now, not just the image, but I want to show you the spirit of Christ in dealing with each other. Alright? Cause, cause we've been there, we've been there too. Now, give me uh, Sirach 28 first, and then we'll come back to the image. Make a point real quick. Go ahead, bro. Look at the diversity right here. Right. Look at the diversity. Now, um, who was the point I was getting? Um, I, uh, I have always seen. We got more compassion than, than any race I've ever experienced. You're absolutely right. Even the toughest of us, you know what I'm saying? The one, you know, he made no difference. Right. 300, 350, 350 pound men. Right. Yeah. With the capability to break you in half. Right. But, but they ain't got that kind of spirit. Right. No. They we can. agree. We agree. And, and and you said something interesting about diversity, right? Yeah. Let me show you something. Look at that sign again. Yeah. That's I diversity. It. I see it. I see it. <laughs> because you see, all right, for instance, you look at me. I'm so called American black Judah. So called American black Judah. But you look at this brother, he's so called Puerto Rican. Yeah, that's what I tribe that's of what Ephraim. That's what you I look at this brother, he's of the tribe of Levi. A Haitian, right? Yeah. But you know what? When when we go to fill out a loan or a job application or something like that, they got black, white, yeah. or Hispanic non-white, right? Can you speak to that? They got Hispanic and white. Yep. Yep. Man. They even differentiate our Hispanic brothers to sever them from each other, even even within their own culture. Right. You understand what I'm saying? This is a well thought out plan. But the Lord allowed this thing to happen to us because we wouldn't serve him. You understand? So I'm going to give you the spirit of Christ, and then we're going to get the color of Christ so you get an understanding. You said we wouldn't serve. We wouldn't serve God. That was the only thing that kept us alive through all this. Is serving God? Yeah. You, you know what kept us alive? What? I'm a, Go ahead. We're we going to read this, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what kept us alive. I'm listening. All right, read. 28. 28. 28. 28. 28. This is the book of... Ecclesiastes 28, Sirach 28 and 1. 
He that revengeth shall fall, shall find vengeance from the Lord. So it says, he that, that revengeth. He didn't want to get vengeance on his brother. Like you holding a grudge or oh, this nigga did this. I'm going to get him back. It said, he that revengeth read, shall find vengeance from the Lord. God going to find vengeance on you. Now you might be able to outwit a, a Negro. You might be able to slip up on, the, on, on a Negro. You can't outwit the Lord. Right. That's right. You understand? So already you in a losing battle. Read on. And he will surely keep his sins in remembrance. And God will keep your sins in remembrance. Now what we want God to do is forgive our sins and forget them. That's right. Because we have no way of getting into the kingdom if God keeps our sins in remembrance. Right. You understand? Read. I appreciate that. Forgive thy neighbor uh -huh. the hurt that he hath done unto thee. You see what the Spirit of Christ is saying? Forgive your neighbor. Now, we're going to make it really plain who your neighbor is. It ain't all people. All right? Read again. Forgive thy neighbor. I'm sorry. Forgive thy neighbor. And thou... Forgive thy neighbor and thy hurt that he have done it to thee. So thy, thy sins also be forgiven. That thy sins also be forgiven. So it says, forgive thy neighbor the hurt that he has done to thee. Right? So that your sins will be forgiven. Okay? So I know that's it's written on paper and it sounds easy. It ain't that easy. And we know that it ain't that easy. You 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 know but, you ever been married? But, yeah. That's the first place you gotta start exercising that. That's right. You, you, you ever had your wife ever made you mad? I don't know a black man that would say no. Right? But but do you gotta show forgiveness and compassion on her? Yeah. Now I ain't saying, look, there there's certain stipulations that that don't apply to us. You run out and cheat on you. Nah. That don't apply. That's right. That's biblical. Okay? Many of us didn't know that. That's biblical because you know our people will sing songs like you Levert and them, you know, you messed up, I messed up, let's get back together, try it again and all that stuff. Nah, that ain't that ain't what God say. But other than that, if you if if your neighbor do you hurt, you're supposed to forgive your neighbor, right? Read on. One man bear hatred against another. So it says, one man beareth hatred against another. What's going on, my brother? Read. And do he speak pat pardon from the Lord? Read that again. And do he seek pardon from the Lord? So now we're going over love your neighbor, brother. Yeah, amen. In that one. Yeah, yeah, we're going over love your neighbor right now. You, you've heard that before, right? Love your neighbor? Love your neighbor? All right, we're going over that right now. So it says, one man bear hatred towards another, yet does he seek pardon for the Lord? Like, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Like, 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 um, like you'll see sometimes in the, in the movies, a drug dealer, he's selling drugs to everybody in the neighborhood, but then he got on a Jesus piece and he asking Lord to forgive him, right? That ain't how that work. Read. He showed no mercy to a man, which like himself. Wait a minute. So read that again. He showed no mercy to a man, which is like himself. So he don't show mercy to his brother. It's showing you right there who your neighbor is. He showed no mercy to a man that's like himself. Go ahead. And do if he acts forgiveness of his own sins? Wait. Yet he asked forgiveness of his own sins. That ain't how that worked. You understand? Read. If he, if he that is but flesh nor nourish hatred, who will entreat for a pardon for his own sins? So if you nourish hatred, like you bear grudges and things of that nature, who gonna pardon you? Now, close that. You ever heard of the Lord's Prayer? They say the same thing. They say the same thing. And a lot of times, we grew up on the Lord's Prayer, and we had no idea. Let's read that. Matthew 6 and 9. Because we, what we have to understand is, one of the hardest things for us to do is to show our neighbor's love. That's one of the hardest things for, for us as black men to do. All right? Matthew 6 and 9. You got it? Let me know when you got it. Any questions so far? All right. Any questions come up? Just let me know, bro. All right? All right, Matthew 6 and 9. Let's read that. Start, start from there. 
The book of Matthew, chapter 6, and verse 9. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that will be done in earth as it is in heaven. So, the kingdom, we ask it for the kingdom to be on earth just like it is where our Father dwells, right? Read. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debt. So now we just read all of that about forgiving our debts, but we don't want to forgive a man like unto us. You understand? Because we nourish in hatred. You, are you connecting the dots? You see what? Okay, go ahead. And forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. As we forgive our debtors or those that have done us wrong. Lord, forgive us as we in turn forgive those that did us wrong. All right, read on. And lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation. So those temptations that we've been reading about, how brothers might do something that will make you want to retaliate. Read it again. And lead us not into temptation. So we pray, Lord, give me that spirit to not want to retaliate on my brothers. Lead us not into temptation. Go ahead. But deliver us from evil. Deliver me from that evil. You understand what I'm saying? There, there's, um, I'm going to just paraphrase it right quick. But if you read in the history in Samuel, the book of Samuel, King Saul was trying to kill King David. When King David had an opportunity to kill King Saul, he didn't take it. He said, I'm not going to touch the Lord's anointing. That's why God said King David was a man after his own heart. You understand what I'm saying? Because he, even though this man was trying to kill him, he showed compassion on him. That's right. He said he's still one of God's anointed. Read on. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Read on. For if ye forgive men their trespasses. So now it goes on to say, if you forgive men your, their trespasses against you. Go ahead. Your heavenly father will also forgive you. Uh -huh. But if you, but if ye forgive not men. So if you don't forgive that brother. Their trespasses. Neither will your father forgive your trespasses. You see that? God won't forgive you either. And if God don't forgive you. Only death and destruction is in your past. That's you understand? He used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I see, we deliver the truth.